What up? Hello everyone. <clears throat> What's up Captain Bjorn? How's everyone? I'm just, just got into bed and getting on um, Netflix. I want to watch um, the main man, Chris D'Elia, has just brought out a new Netflix show, um, a Netflix special, so I want to watch that. Lego are here. Hello, Lego. What's everyone been up to? Anything interesting? Um, I've just been, what did I do today? God, it's been a long one. Today's a long one. For some reason, I don't know why. Uh, someone said today's my birthday. Happy birthday. I'm sorry that you had to spend it in this shit, but... When this is all done, tear it up. Um. Yeah, today, what did I do? Oh, I was up early today. Got up early, had some breakfast. Went for 5K run. Um, but I was so slow. It was pff, something slow about today. And then, um, what else did I do? Came back. I went to the shop for a minute. Ate some lunch. Then I wrote some riffs for a bit. And wrote down some concepts. Lay out in the sun. <laughs> uh, yeah. I think that's it. To be honest, made some dinner. Watched another episode of Sunderland Till I Die on Netflix. And then, yeah, now I'm in bed. <laughs> Nothing happened today. <sighs> what did I have for dinner? I've been eating really boring recently because I'm trying to get into some sort of shape. So I've just kind of had a couple of salmon fillets, some sweet potato. So carrots and broccoli, very basic, boring stuff. But, um, yeah. What time is it here? It's 11 p.m. I like sweet potato too. What? What's the song? Uh, what's the challenge on the song? Tomorrow? I can't remember it. I 
cl is it a classic tomorrow? Can you believe that there's 35,000 people watching me lay in my bed? <laughs> Fuck you, you know? She's a good girl Loves her mama Loves Jesus And America too And she's a good girl Crazy about Elvis Loves horses And boyfriends Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah It's a long day Living in Reseda There's a freeway Running through the yard And I'm a bad boy Cause I don't even miss her And I'm a bad boy Breaking her heart And I'm free I'm free falling Falling Now I'm free I'm free falling Falling And all the vampires Are walking through the valley They move west down Ventura Boulevard And all the bad boys Standing in the shadows And all the good girls Hold my broken hearts And I'm free Yeah, and that's my cover for today. For today, today's tune that I chose for the challenge, I chose John Mayer's version of Free Fallen, which is probably the greatest cover of all time. Um, he's he smashed that. I think it. I don't know where I don't know if there's an actual version of it, but I know he did it as a cover for his gig at the Nucky Theatre in LA. Which is now Microsoft, I think. Where we have the, the AMAs, I think. The AMAs happen at that venue. <sighs> and um, it's just an unbelievable cover. Like the, It doesn't sound like the original. It's very... It's just very mayor, isn't it? And... When you watch the video, I don't know if you've ever seen the video of that performance live, live at the Nokia th Theatre where the light is tour, maybe? And David Ryan Harris is playing a guitar with him and it's... Whew. If I could sing one song for the rest of my life. Whoa. Uh, song that's not my own, probably... Desperado. Why don't you come to your senses? You've been out riding fences for so long now. It's probably that. The best song to sleep, Damien Rice. I know I keep talking about him, but God am I. Oh. 
<laughs> Tired. Someone said my neighbours are bad at social distancing. Well, tell them if they don't stay inside, we won't have a fucking summer. So tell them to cop on. The longer we stay inside now, the quicker we can get out. Don't you try to clean a diamonds, boy. He'll eat you with his evil. You know he's green of hearts is always your best bet. You're losing all your highs and lows. Eat your footy out of it and goes away. I feel like the comments come in quite slow on this, don't they? Like, I've, I'm have i seeing comments now to something I said about five minutes ago. So you sing when you're sleepy and tired. That's interesting. Yeah, I do actually, I suppose. Lay in bed and just sing tunes. Yeah. Who am I isolating with? A few of my friends. It's quite interesting. I'm surprised there hasn't been a few slaps. <laughs> what country am I in? I'm in London. London, England. Why aren't you going to bed then? Look at me. I'm in it. Do I miss Ireland? Yeah, I would love to be there, but I think it's safer for me to be here. And also, I missed the deadline to get back. Favourite pub in Cork? I can't say I've been. I think I might have driven through Cork a couple of times, but I don't know if I've ever like properly spent any time in it. What's the first thing I'm going to do when quarantine's over? I don't care what time of the day it is, I'm going straight to the pub. <laughs> there would be no such thing as five o'clock somewhere. Or any of that shite. Straight to the pub. Now, have you talked to anyone else about interviewing them on your live? Yeah, I've texted. Um, I've, I've been trying to think, of what who I should do it with. Also, sometimes some of the people I want to do the time difference thing is a bit of a pain in the ass. I would like to do some. I would like to do someone. I don't know. Give me. Have you got any recommendations? Obviously, I need to know them as well, because that's what makes it better. I mean, everyone can interview everyone. But I would prefer to, to know them quite well. Is about to get up on a 
Door down to get me down, shut it. There ain't no meaning in your door. You say you want my money. But, dun, 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 get it down, we get it in. James Corden, yeah, but James is like, well, I'm sure they're putting their show um, together. Oh, I don't know what there. Um, yeah, the, uh, James is doing the home series of shows now, so they're probably preparing that all the time. And the t- at the time I'm interviewing th- people, it's like noon in LA and it's a bit of a pain, but. Was I happy when Frank Lampard left Derby for Chelsea? What do you think? <laughs> Slow down, you crazy child. I don't know. I've I've seen like I've got friends all over the place, and I've seen um some people have snow where they are. I tell you what, I'm so I'm so happy that it's somewhat decent weather, because at least if you have. I, like if you're in one of those places where you can go out once a day imagine if it was oh god I can't I can't imagine what it's like if it's raining and you can get to like go out for a half an hour the weather the UK and the weather is or the, the weather in the UK the UK and the weather that's good English isn't it uh, the weather in the UK has been really good so at least when we go outside it's not bad. Why does it always get to a point? Oh no, maybe not. Da da, you crazy child. By the way, um, we never got to talk about it. Um, I didn't see any, well, I didn't see anyone typing it up. What uh, is tomorrow's challenge on the song challenge? A song for what? Classic tomorrow. (laughs) Why is this so hard? I think with the with a classic do you do I just then go with like my favorite song of all time cuz there's no option for that I don't think in the one in some of the days coming up Cla- favorite cla- I mean all of my f- f- favorite songs are classics so I might just go with my favorite song of all time tomorrow Today's was a no-brainer. First song that came to my head was was uh, was Mayor, hundred percent. There's been some unbelievable covers over the years, obviously. Another one that sprung to mind was uh, a more recent one in um, Callum Scott doing uh, "Dancing on My Own." Unbelievable tunes. Who's going with the big classic tomorrow? By the way, what songs are you going to do? She's a good girl, loves her mama, and loves Jesus in America too. And she's a good girl, crazy about her. Here comes the sun, banger, summer of 69, yeah. Here comes the sun, do 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 do. And I say, 
Someone says, what are you going to choose on day 24? What's that? Anything by Amy Winehouse. True. <laughs> Go your own way, Fleet Mac. Yeah. Would I, Paul Mack said, would I ever do a song, a live song with Mark Mack? Yes, I would love to. And I have done on many occasions, sadly. Uh, but yeah, I'd give it one more shot. Just for the crack. Mel Dane, what's going on, Paul? Yeah. Adele, yeah. What's my favourite Ed song? Um, oh, they're all popping up here. Look at this killer queen. Um, <laughs> favourite Ed song? It's loads. Too many, man. He's got too many good songs. I love um, Wake Me Up. It's a very storyteller. You will never know just how beautiful you are to me. Someone just said, I'm drinking mango juice. Good for you. Fair fucking play to you. What do I think of the Global Citizen event? It's going to be sick. It's a great idea. Because I think the Instagram lives went so well and they pulled so many people in. I think it was a, it was a good idea to get everyone together and do it. Cecilia by Simon Garfunkel. A tune. Crazy little thing called love. Yeah. A crazy little thing called love. Go down, you crazy child. So ambitious for a united. Have you been working a lot during quarantine or have you been taking a break? Uh, kind of a mix. It's a, it's, a, it's a weird one. Like It's like, okay, I got a request to do Jimmy Fallon and that's, a, say, 6 p.m. because Jimmy's five, six hours behind. So I do nothing and then have to like get back, you know, get ready then to prepare for something like that or like might have a couple of radio things or some like video liners to do or and then yeah it's just it's just a bit like bit it's a bit bitty you know it's like you know bits and pieces here and there i try what's my daily routine i try and get up like try and just treat it normal like a normal day like if i you know I'm trying to get up at about not too early, like I'm, I mean, it's probably midnight before I get to sleep tonight, and then just try and sleep, try and get eight hours, try and get up at about eight or nine, eat some eggs, then do a workout. Um, tomorrow's a tough one. I have to do a hundred burpees tomorrow in my workout. 
Come on. And then, uh, yeah, and then, oh, I'm doing something cool for this week. Um, yeah, I'm doing a a duet with with uh, one of England's greatest singers and um, songwriters, great man. And then um, I'm also, what else am I doing tomorrow? Got a few bits, few like radio bits, and then I sit ready. And then Friday I'm writing. Um, no Friday. And then I might write in the weekend too, because I think it's gonna be raining this weekend. Um. So yeah, I'll just do that. <coughs> gonna write, and we were the boys were saying right. Well, if we're gonna work on the weekend, let's just get drunk. So we'll be writing tunes we'll after a few drinks this weekend. Should be interesting. Yeah. So yeah, just try and treat it as normal as possible. It's kind of built around what you're like cooking. I find that's what I've tried to make it. Like, get up in the morning, make breakfast, work out, go to the store, get stuff for like lunch and dinner um and maybe a couple of days worth of stuff put stuff in the freezer <laughs> and then i might do a run depending on what my workout is sometimes like i have a run and then i have a workout in the afternoon and then you're kind of by the time you shower and stuff it's kind of time then for cooking dinner and stuff so i'll be doing that and then sit down watch tv for a bit go to bed and do it again and then there might be some stuff as I say like work stuff that might pop up um, you know requests for this and that um, like the global citizen thing or um, yeah I've been doing a lot of like working with stuff at back home in Ireland so I've been doing a lot of like um, you'll see what I've been working on, but I've been doing on a bit, a bit of stuff for Ireland, and you know, you'll see what I'm talking. <clears throat> Guaranteed to blow your mind. She's a killer queen. Do I miss watching golf or football more? Well, last week it would have been the Masters, so don't upset me too much. But I really want to see what happens with this football season. Just for Liverpool's sake. So I miss football. Big time. Slow down, you crazy child. You're so ambitious for a, a juvenile. Also, apart from a couple, I've been trying to hide from people's challenges. <laughs> I've got one to do. I want to do Gavin James. I, I was writing it a little bit of it today. Gavin James has sent me a challenge to sing like any theme song or something funny and turn it into a ballad um, but apart from that I've been trying to hide from people's challenges because people are just so bored they're making the most random shit up I've seen a couple of lads flicking a tea, uh, a tea bag off their foot into a cup and I was just like right I might just delete Instagram because this is getting out of hand now <laughs> um, yeah <clears throat> I don't want to get too challenging. Also, um, what was the other one? I oh, just oh TikTok dancing. Like, I'm all for TikTok and all that, but everyone thinks they're a choreographer now.
and we're not going to do a handstand while putting a t-shirt on. I can barely put my shirt on standing up, never mind doing a handstand. I don't need to be challenged to do a handstand against the wall and try and put my shirt on. Why is it all of a sudden, like, I understand people are bored, but what what's going on here? Do cooking or something. Or learn an instrument. So I need to be flicking tea bags off my foot into a... Into a... A mug across the room. And everyone's laughing because they know I'm right. Toilet roll challenge. Too hard. I'm not doing keep you uppies with a toilet roll. It's t- way too out of shape. Slow down, you crazy child. I see you, Johnny Blind. <clears throat> Get play PS4 and let's play FIFA. Yes, I'll do that. John, you're not doing any stupid challenges, are you? Flashback to Torbus 2014. Fact. Playing FIFA for about nine hours every night. Um, yeah let's do that how about we write a song John <laughs> you know that thing that we do most of the time <clears throat> getting buff and fat at the same time yeah I think so <laughs> that's right over zoom let's do it on the weekend maybe Um. I've also worked out a way to do it through logic and I'll I'll, uh, I'll let you I'll we'll talk to you off, off this and let you know about it. It's a piece of software that is quite hard to use but you'll get it. Bye John, love you. Uh f- Monday. Let's do Monday. <coughs> See you bud. Um, okay, what else do people do? Oh, also, people, I don't think I've ever seen so much banana bread being made. Ever. Every single person I know has made a loaf of banana bread. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm a major fan um, of banana bread. But, again... Someone said do a Zoom concert. There, the problem with Zoom is there's a delay, a touch of a delay. So you can't actually sing exactly in time with each other. So it would sound like shit. No, I'm not hating on banana bread. I'm hating on everyone who now thinks they're a baker. Mark Bartra. Good night, bro. <laughs> my favourite show right now I've actually stopped watching Netflix I'm not going to lie um, I've been trying to do something completely different I, it's like something completely different every day playing board games and all sorts Tiger King I mean, it's good, but it's not that great. I mean, the way people are talking about it, you think it was the best piece of television ever made. I mean, it's just some lunatic on some, some, um, some tigers and 
probably shutting on them and then a random murder. I mean, it's not the great... I mean, what's going on? Like, There's better things to be watching than that. It's literally, I would say, it's on the list of... It's top of the list of most overrated shows ever. You too, Mark. See you soon, bud. No singing lullabies tonight. <laughs> Give us an unpopular opinion you have. Tiger King is shit. <laughs> You should try chip a ball into toilet roll. I mean, yeah, but I don't. I could do that just to practice. I don't need to like. Hey, everybody! Everyone's been talking about um, uh, unorthodox. Heard that's great. Might do that. Might do that next. Yeah, I'll start that tomorrow, I think. <clears throat> Strangest hobby I started. Um, I don't know. I mean, unless it's so, like something decent, it's not really that good. <sighs> I just ordered a, a ukulele. I'm going to learn how to play that. I guess not strange, I guess. Um, started playing more board games than usual. Would never play board games. Um, clean, like cleaning a lot. Uh, that's nuts. I've been, I swear to God, the house has never been cleaner. By the way, what what day what day is it today? Where's the fifteenth? I would have been in Nashville today. Fuck this. I would have started rehearsal today in Nash or yesterday in Nashville. Which is really annoying.
You're crazy. Seen someone saying, I was going to your New Jersey show. I'm sad. I'm sad. I'm more sad than you because I was going to all of the shows. Weirdly enough. Someone said, what? Will the tour happen eventually? Yeah. Next, uh, I definitely want a tour next year. Don't know, yeah. I tell you what, it's going to be nuts because you've got all the sports starting back up again. You've got the tours that were already booked for January, February, March, whatever it is, uh, and and all next year. Then you've got all of us that are trying to replace our shows and like move them to there. It is going to be madness. It's going to be crazy. I don't know. How, I don't know how we're going to do it, but it'll be an interesting watch. So in the meantime, I'm just going to keep writing. I mean, I don't do anything else. I write, I do photo shoots. I write, I record, I do photo shoots. I go on television. I go on stage for basically seven or eight months of the year. So I can't do photo shoots. I can't go on television. I can't tour. But I can write and record. So... That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to write, record, play golf, chill, learn something cool about myself. <laughs> um, and then, I don't know. It's the, as we all, we keep saying, these are strange times. But, uh, completely out of, um, Completely out of our control and no one's fault. That's the greatest. That's the craziest thing about it. If I knew I could do something about it, and we looked into every single option to make the tour still happen, it's just not possible. So, yeah. I mean, I'm absolutely disgusted about it, but I would be, I'd feel a billion times worse if I could control it. And I was, when it was my decision, or someone else's, like that works with me, decision. But when it's this far out of our hands, I mean, there's a phrase that comes to mind that I can't really say out here. <laughs> Very Irish phrase. Um, so <clears throat> I'll just go studio. I don't know, I'll probably go back to LA when the travel ban's lifted. We'll have to go to Ireland first. See the fam. And this is all over. Because I haven't been back in a few months, or a couple of months. So, I'll go there first and then over to, uh, back to LA or whoever wants me. And then, um, Yeah. All the plans we had for the summer, not happening, so. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. But, uh. Am I wearing a watch? Yes, I'm wearing this. It's called a whoop. This is not an ad. This is not an ad. I'm not an influencer. Or maybe I am. Uh. A whoop, yeah. Does your sleep and heart rate variability and all your workout stuff and it's got it tells you how recovered you are and how much strain you should put on your body in a day out of a scale of everything's out of a scale of 21 so you always have to be recovered before you can put hard strain on yourself today i was like 75 percent recovered and i was like had a 13 or 14 strain because I did a run and a bit of a workout
It's like a better version of Fitbit. It's insane how correct it is. Unbelievable. Like, I could work out, you know, like, like literally, how I feel is what it says on the app. It's insane how it knows everything. It's all based on your heart rate and your, how much strain you put in your body, as I said. Um, and then, like, just say, Friday, I work out. <clears throat> I'm on 98% recovered. I've had a 13, 14 strain. And it's got, like, a little circle thing. And it shows you, like, a, a, a little graph. A little chart, I should say. And then I'll have, like, four or five drinks on Friday night. And look the next morning, it'll say that I've I've got tw- I'm 22% recovered. How do you... How does it know that I've drank? <laughs> it's fucked. It's called a whoop. W H O O P. Whoop. Yes, I did mean forty five. <laughs> Yeah, whoop. Whoop, whoop. I mean, I know why it does it, but it's crazy that that's, this little band can tell, you know, because of, I obviously it's because of certain things like heart rate and, and stuff like this. Heart rate variability, but... Um, it's still nuts that you just wear a band on your wrist and they can tell you that you've had about eight gin and tonics. When will you realize the end awaits for you? Slow down, you crazy child. Or juvenile. Questions, questions. What time do you usually go to sleep and wake up? Kind of weird. It's been weird. I can't. I, the first kind of. 10 days of quarantine I was like going to sleep at like 3am and then waking up at like 2 in the afternoon and, and just terrible sleeping pattern so I've tried to get myself out of it now I'm probably going to bed at like midnight waking up at 8, 9 but yeah that's not good you can't treat it like that you can't treat it like a slumber <clears throat> Do I like the weekend's new album? Yes. I do wish it had it came out about two weeks after mine. I would have loved another week at number one. <laughs> but yeah, it's cracking. I mean, Blinding Lights is just a banger, isn't it? And I said, ooh. I'm blinded by the light No I can see in. What strings do I use on my acoustic guitar? I use twelves, I play with twelves. Um Favourite song off the new Five Sauce album. Uh what's that one again? Oh god. Best Best Years or Best Years, I think it's called. You guys will tell me if I'm right or wrong. Uh, the hardest part about playing golf consistency keeping it consistent you might hit I'm, I'm a decent golfer and you hit some good shots and then bad ones are just like oh fucking hell where, was, where are the good ones again 
The thing I hate most about quarantine, not being able to see anyone. Um, going to the pub, golf, going on tour. I would have, I would have liked that. Um, first place I'll go to eat. I'm not saying that because everyone will turn up. Um, <clears throat> do I remember the Flicker World Tour or Home Down New Jersey concert? I do, indeed. If there's anything good coming out of this time, what is it? I mean, I think, personally, I hope some good songs. That would be good. Um and that we'd learn some we'd learn stuff about I'd learn stuff about myself get better at things I think generally we'll be less selfish you can see how if the me if we're told that we must stay in to save lives people are staying in so that means it's a very selfless thing to do and it's the least selfish humans are being and have been um, um, that we'll ever see. So hopefully we hold we'll hold on to that selflessness afterwards, and we're all nicer to each other, and we look after the planet a bit better, and just all the things we're doing now. If we could carry on, it'd be great. And also, how can I get rock hard abs like you? Yeah, good one. <laughs> Please. When will I restock the signed CDs? Uh, I just sent a box away yesterday. So there's another box for you. Next holiday destination, not telling you. you know what I'm do I know what songs I'm playing for Together at Home? I do. How many, songs, how many songs have I written in quarantine? I haven't really written full songs yet. I've kind of written verse, like verse and chorus, or just a chorus. I've kind of done little bits and pieces of stuff that I'll get back to. Some of it's shit. I mean, horrendous. I'm in a bad... I'm in a rut at the moment. But if I, you know, sit down at the right time, it'll come. I'm not worried about <coughs> Favourite Bruce song? I mean, I've got loads. I love Thunder Road. Um, what do I like most about my job? All of it. Who's my quarantine buddy? My uh, A couple of my mates. How do I get into a creative mood? I don't know. It's hard, like has to happen like obviously we've got some sort of a schedule going now you know working with the boys the tms guys and plastid and lewis and that's kind of our little like you know lewis will do a day with tms is made up of three guys for all ben and murph and then there's plastid and lewis and i so six of us going around and then like Today, Plested and Lewis wrote together with Murph, and then yesterday I wrote with Plested and Murph and Ben. There was four of us doing it, and then on Friday, I think it's... We kind of... I don't know what it is, but there's like a little rotation going on, and you kind of split it up. And there ain't some good riffs, though. There's some nice little bits and pieces coming out of it, but just can't, like... Yeah... Also, the, we're still trying to figure out the like the software thing. What country left me speechless? That is a fucking great question. I mean, I'm not even joking. Ireland honestly makes me speechless when I think about 
I couldn't wait to get out of the place when I was 15, 16. Because that's what it is. It's just like, you don't appreciate something like that until you don't have it anymore. Ireland, beautiful. If you ever get, if you ever get a chance, go and see Ireland. Um, what else? Vietnam. Vietnam was gorgeous. Great. The cities and... When we went out to the sea stacks and stuff, out, like a few hours outside of Hanoi, it was pretty sweet. Halong Bay. <coughs> Bye. The screen door slams Mary right away Like a vicious dances across the porch Go on then I've got one minute forty nine seconds. And then I is going to bed. And then we'll either do a live one of the days or I'll see you on Saturday for thingy my bub for Global Citizen. <coughs> we'll leave it there. Thanks very much, everyone. Always good chatting. I think we solved all the world's problems there in the last few minutes. <laughs> no, we didn't. Well, we'll give it a go. Anyway, I'll see you. Good night. Lots of love. Be safe. Wash your hands. Stay away from people.